Hello and welcome again to another in the series of Daughters of Sheba Foundation's Sunless Spirit. I am Clara Brown, Director Secretary of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. To those of us who are avid gardeners, the concept of repotting infers that we would have tested and tried a particular environment for our plants or seedlings but there comes a time where change is necessary. Oh, so necessary that if that plant is to survive or thrive, we have to carry out the process of repotting. So therefore, repotting is an act of change. In this intricate garden of life, we encounter numerous seasons of change. Changes akin to the process of repotting plants. Repotting involves transplanting a plant from one container or from one pot to another, providing it with fresh soil and space to thrive. Similarly, in our journey, we often face transitions, challenges, and upheavals, and these demand our resilience. Yes, the ability to adapt and grow and flourish despite adversities. For today's Sunday Spirit, I would like to delve into the analogy of reporting through resilience, exploring how we can navigate life's transitions and emerge stronger through nurturing and the power of resilience. Just as a plant outgrows its pot, we frequently outgrow our current circumstances, be it a job, a relationship, or our environment. Change is inevitable and often unsettling. It will trigger fear, uncertainty, and doubt. However, resilience urges us to embrace change as an opportunity for growth rather than a threat. Like the roots of a plant, stretching into new soil, resilience empowers us to explore unfamiliar territory, adapt to new challenges, and discover hidden potential. I love that. Discovering hidden potential. As with the repotting process, a plant requires careful preparation. Therefore, we also need to prepare and plan for our new growth sprouts. We must therefore exercise patience we must nurture our desires and goals with self-compassion, perseverance, and a positive mindset as we navigate the challenges of our new reality. Yes, we must handle these goals and desires with care. Navigating life's transitions demands a deliberate approach grounded in resilience. We must recognize the signs of stagnation or discomfort in our current situations. It can be a pivotal moment akin to a plant signaling it has outgrown its spot. We must acknowledge that growth often occurs outside of our comfort zone. Just as repotting provides a plant with fresh soil, we must seek out new opportunities, new relationships, new environments which are conducive to our growth. Be it known that resilience is not merely about bouncing back from adversity. 
It is about flourishing in the face of it. Like a resilient plant, weathering the storms and the wind and the harsh conditions, if we are fortified with resilience and possess the inner strength to withstand life's trials, we will emerge stronger. Let me give you a few tips on the reporting through resilience process. We must be open to change. Tip number one. The first step is owning that the reporting process is being, is being open to change. Just as a plant needs a larger pot to grow, we must be willing to embrace new opportunities, new perspectives, and new experiences. Openness allows us to see beyond our current limitations and envision a future filled with possibilities. Tip number two, optimism and opportunity. Approach the reporting process with optimism and a keen eye for the emerging opportunity. See challenges as reporting gives a plant a chance to thrive. View these challenges and transitions in your life as opportunities to learn, to evolve, and to create a better version of yourself. Owning your actions. Take ownership of the process, its outcomes. Recognize that your choices, your actions, and mindset play a very crucial role in the reshaping of your journey. Yes, there will be missteps, but missteps are challenges. They are lessons to be learned. Accept responsibility for nurturing your growth, seeking support where necessary, when needed, and making very proactive decisions. Those decisions must align with your goals and values. Overcoming obstacles. Reporting is not without its challenges, such, a potential, such as a potential root damage or transplant may shock the plant. Similarly, in life, obstacles may and will arise during our transitions. Embracing them through our resilience reinforces our ability to thrive in adverse conditions. We were built that way. We were created that way. Another tip I would like to leave with you is use of your resources. Seek resources. Again, I talk about, I spoke about alignment earlier. Seek those resources during the reporting process, which will ensure successful growth. Similarly, where we can leverage our strengths, our skills, and our networks to navigate the new transition to embrace new opportunities. Onward movement. Owning the process requires forward momentum. Embrace a mindset of continuous growth and progress. There are no limitations to your growth levels. Just as a plant continues to reach for the sun after repotting, set goals, stay adaptable and keep moving forward on your journey of self-discovery and fulfillment. Embrace the O's in your life. Openness, optimism, ownership, and overcoming. Yes, and last but not least, onward movement. I thank you. Namaste. Mm -hmm.